<laughs> you hang yourself up against Yo. the wall and go to sleep, nigga. <laughs> Fucking caterpillar. <laughs> Sing it like a caterpillar with a fitting on. <laughs> Yo, take a picture of this nigga. <laughs> Yo. Caterpillar with a fitting on. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, Jay. I'm making me laugh too. Yeah, he got you, man. He got that was a good one. I can't lie. That was a good one. He got you pretty good, man. It's, it's funny because the fish. <laughs> Yo, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, go. Nigga go. I'm going to sleep, y'all. <laughs> 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 nigga wake up, nigga wake up with wings. How you wake up with some wings? What's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? It's your boy, Big Wavy Legend, man. This is the Legendland Podcast episode. 23. 23. 23 was Michael good. Jordan, you, gotta Jordan get, you gotta get rid of that gum, bro. Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No homo. I feel like you're chewing my ear off right now. Hey, yo. I got the headphones on. Um, As always, I got my niggas with me. He's the gun police. Hey, that's Angela Yee shit. Yeah. He said, I don't know nothing about no gun. You got rid of it? Nah, he got me. He me Man, I got my niggas with me. You got Dave Legendado in the building. Mm. Big queen shit. Big queen. <laughs> Big queen shit word? Big queen shit. You know how we coming. <laughs> Come on, son. Nigga. I hear you. Doug Dow sipping some juice. <laughs> no black. Uh huh. The legend is here. The legend. And it's your boy, Big Wavy Legend, man. The ultimate one. And this is the Legend and Podcast episode 23. 23, 23 man. What's good? What Before we. St- huh? Come on. Oh, shit. I'm here. I'm ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm ready. I mean, I can't even get my leg up that far. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, we know what episode it is. <laughs> we know what episode I we mean, were on. I'm here. Moment of silence. My shit is fresh. My shit. <laughs> these, are, these are brand new. My shit is fresh. Me. Those. Is the new. point. The point I was making was that we were I wearing. You saying something we were wearing Jordans. <laughs> you we were wearing way? Jordans for the Jordan episode. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, Rome know, Rome nobody know gave me the up. memo, so <laughs> Rome know what's I up. I mean, it's just it's, it's just like, natural. Just natural. natural. Yeah. <laughs> For me, if you yeah. know, you know. Yo, um, before I start, man, I just wanna I wanna address something, man. Not really address something, but. Something that really like bothered me, mm. you know. Shout out to the homeless man. You know, everybody going through their struggles, man. You know, God is with y'all, hundred percent. But yo, the the begging is like is advanced now. It's not even begging no more. <laughs> That's like <laughs> then what is it? <laughs> they, they, they ask for money like they know you, nigga. Uh, I mean, how are you supposed to ask? Somebody? What's a, a great way to ask somebody for money? I mean, can, can you spare something? Yeah, or spark up a conversation. Nah, but you nah, bro. You're not supposed to be out here like that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? The fact that you're not supposed to be out here like that, and the way you asking for it is crazy. Yo, bro, these niggas. Yo, yesterday I was at the store, right? And um, I'm going to the stores. Me and Doogie, shout out executive producer Doogie Oogie, and we got um executive director Rome Legend, aka Pro. Brethren. Brethren. The brethren, In and the we building. got my nigga G Styles, 3G Valley, 3G Valley the Let's chief get. editor, legendary, chief editor. aka Usher Marley. But um, but yeah, so we going to the store, and the nigga come up to Doogie and was like, "Come on, just one." <laughs> 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 the fuck? Come on, just one, and nigga, maybe, maybe two, maybe two, two what? Two dollars. He do him. <laughs> Yo, bro, you know Doogie make friends with all the all the homeless crackhead niggas on my block. Like that was, Doogie love all them niggas. They be like, hey Doogie, <laughs> but they yo, bro. And then it's, it's it's one. Her name is Gloria, bro. She be wildin'. <laughs> Gloria is a funny ass name. <laughs> yo, nah, stop, shout out to Gloria. Everybody in Harbors know. Her. Right. Yo, bro, she told the nigga, like, no, she Wait, told. Did Doogie give him the money? Hell no. Oh. So wait, he, wait, what was his reaction though? Nah, Doogie was like, I, I ain't got it. <laughs> I ain't got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> nah, but the yo, but <laughs> but the shit that's so crazy is that Gloria, she sees niggas going in the store. She's like, Yeah, y'all, I just want something to drink. <laughs> nah, I just want something to drink. And be like, you want something? I, you know, I walk right past Gloria because Gloria done violated me 
on plenty of occasions. I'll tell y'all how. <laughs> okay, but she, yo, bro, she was like, no, go ahead, Dookie, go shop. Go do what you got to do. I'll be out here waiting. I'm just okay. <laughs> Are you giving me an option? Entitled word. Heavy entitlement. Yo, but she, but Gloria, she goes crazy, bro. Like, one time, right? I'm going to just give you one time that ended it with me with her. Mm -hmm. I never give her nothing in my life. <laughs> Boom. So, I'm walking from, I just got a fresh cut. That's good. Shout out to my nigga, Shout Maitro. Oh, Maitro. <laughs> Maitro, the legend. Then I go get some Spanish food. After the fresh cut, go home, chill. I'm walking down. So, I see Gloria coming up. First of all, she says, what you got for me today? <laughs> I said, nah, I don't, I don't got it. But I guess she's seen the back of my hand. She said, hmm, that's because you eating it all. <laughs> 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 Yo, bro, when I tell you, when I tell oh. you, when I tell you, I said, I bet. Nigga, when she, yo, when she, yo, <laughs> I feel like my grandmoms, recipes, my grandmoms, everybody's holding me back, like, do not disrespect this older woman. All right, she got it. After that, I said no. Every time she asked me for money, I act like a, I act well, like. That was mad funny. Though. Yeah, it was, nah, it, it was, was funny. I told my mom, my mom was laughing, whatever. But every time she asked me for money, I act like I'm turning into a monster. <laughs> like every time she asks, I go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she be, she be like, "Hey, you got?" I be like, <laughs> she, be, she be like, "Oh my god!" I be like, hey, "Come here, bitch!" <laughs> Yo, bro, that ass. No. Ask niggas. Niggas gonna see this and they gonna be like, "Nah, that's that ass true." Every time I see, oh, I act like I got a crazy headache. I'm like, ah, help me, help. Nigga go full. She gonna be like, "Will you throw with that headache?" Nah, <laughs> dollar nah, for me. no. Go she full leave. two fifth and Lex on her. Yo, dead ass. I go two fifth K two crazy on her, bro. <laughs> no, nah, real nigga shit, bro. Yo. And, yo, bro, she, yo, and she dead leaves me alone. But the monster shit scared the shit out of her one time. <laughs> Cause I dead was like, ah, come here. Ah, nah. and she was like, ah, like. <laughs> Are you okay? I said, she's like, you know, Michael Jackson and Thriller was like, go away. <laughs> she was like, ah. And she, she walked away, bro. Yo, this nigga wave. Yo, for nah, me. Nah, but she's crazy, yo, bro. Yo, for me, my thing is this. If you asking for money 24-7, right? At this point, you need to start building a rapport with people. Like, mm -hmm. if you ask me every day for a dollar, there's no way you see me Another day and act like you never seen me before. Like, you know, the same story. No, same bullshit that story. I yeah. haven't eaten all day. <laughs> I'm down on my last poppy. Could you spare one dollar? Ask it the same way. Like, yo, you don't even remember when I did give you money. So why do I deserve to give that's, you money that's again? That's how I was on the train. I remember this one nigga, he would come on the train. He'll ask for money, saying he got a job interview today or whatever. And I see him, and he'll say the same shit over and over again. Mm -hmm. And he got a job interview. Wish me luck, guys. You know that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he tough. never has a job interview. And it's always yeah, it's just the same bullshit ass story. You be like, you going to a job interview looking like that? Yeah, exactly, my nigga. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Yo, remember that? Remember that? Um, I told you about that when I was dancing on the train. Remember? You remember instantly. Yo, there's a known, there's a known bum. He's mad tall. He got curly hair, and he wear that big rack. You like talking about rag. bone crusher for on the six line? He be on the six Probably, train? yeah. I don't know his name, but bro, one day I'm dancing. Bro, and I heard he be having wads of cash. Like when somebody, I guess, don't want to give him bread, he'll pull out the, the stack. Bro, one day, but this is random. One day I'm dancing on the train. Boom. Getting my money. Trying to get my money using my talents. I did a move. I went fake low. The niggas walking through the cart, bro. When I told you, I when I spent up, like I fake came into contact with the, with the drink. The um whatever he's with the rag shit like I bumped him, but like I was like oh my <laughs> god that's so disgusting son I was tight that bro. shit maced you nigga yo uh, what did he say excuse me that nigga don't say nothing he don't even speak bro he be like just mad big just mm -mm. walking through the carts and shit. We could be walking and he be like give me a gun and then he just shakes the <laughs> shit in your face yo bro. <laughs> hey, yo. I don't want to talk about two fifth. Two fifth is this. Two fifth is crazy, bro, bro. Niggas out there be like in your face, like like that's a needle. 
Like, don't give a fuck. <laughs> I remember them niggas was having a K2 jump off, bro. Them niggas was in the back. <laughs> Yo, bro. Them niggas was in the back of the train. And if you if you from New York, if you ride 2-5th, 4 train, you already know the vibes. They in the back, I swear to God, bro. Mad little pints of, like, vodka. I don't know. I seen A. Georgie. I saw A. A, a Georgie <laughs> in the building. But it was like... Man, little like, lips. you know, you know. Nah, it was the pints. Oh, my God. Nigga, they was back there like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yo. And mind you, it's like mad shit going on. First of all, a nigga, a nigga was drinking a pint, bro, from the beginning. Like, uh, uh, uh. his whole ass was out. <laughs> his ass was out while he's drinking this shit. And then you got a nigga throwing up, leaning over the tracks, throwing up with a nigga holding him by his shirt like this. He's like just like this, free to it's like the, the dirty Titanic, bro. <laughs> he was like throwing up, bro. I'm like, oh shit. I said, yo, bro, and I'm like, yo, where's this train at? Yo, I need I need to get out of here. Nah, but the begging is getting out of here. It's not even begging no more, it's demanding. Yeah, entitlement. Yeah, we 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 demand this shit now. So um when is it time to um throw away Throw things away, like black one. I mean, expand on that. for me, like recently, bro, you know me, I be on the move. Yeah, I don't even know when shit be going down. Next yeah. thing you know, I'm on a flight somewhere. So, my my room been havoc since <laughs> wake up on since <laughs> last year. Word type <laughs> shit, it be like that. But like since last year, so you know, I'm cleaning up, I'm getting rid of shit. But like I always do it here and there. So what I do like going back to like um the bums and the homeless people, with all due respect. You know, like I've thrown out clothes or I go and give them the clothes and then I come back another day, see them throwing it on, like making it a fit. That makes me happy because like they didn't get rid of the clothes or, you they know, determinate use uses. Yeah, yeah, they actually was wearing it. Mm-hmm. So I do things like that. But now it was just like. You What about the sneakers? You give away the sneakers too? Um, Certain ones, like when they don't fit no more, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Or like, yeah, but I love when I got a good pair that's, you know, I give them to somebody like that's work, that's doing something with their mm-hmm. life. Because one time I went to give a bump a pair of the Raptor 7s and I was like yo oh, but I'm like yo try them on because if they don't fit I could give them to somebody else and they like oh do you want to give them to me or not like it was like yo, yo relax, that's my nigga. word that's when I was like what the fuck I'm like what the fuck like I I, I was out of the kindness like, of my to heart help you, nigga. and I'm not gonna give you some shit you gonna walk around with your fucking heel out of some shit yeah. bro it's ridiculous so whatever but <laughs> yeah, so when you do things like that, do you have your camera out recording? Nah, you know I don't. Um, Come on, man. It'd be, it's, that's corny it's heavy, to me. That's corny. It's shit heavy to me. integrity over here, man. Yeah, yeah. And but yeah, so I'm. I got you know. I do these things. I just did the Valentino. Shout out Valentino. Valentino. Yeah. I just I just did a gig with them. It's good for him. So I get I get stuff like that, like where I get free shit mm. and just end up having that a whole lot. fit was Valentino. Yeah, oh, that's fine. And I just end up having a lot of stuff like that. So now you're looking at shit that you might have had from years ago, and you're just like, damn, do I throw it out? Do I mm. keep it? If it's significant or not. But I just feel like a lot of shit, after after you've got your wears in, and it's been a few, ye- like a few years since, and you're not really wearing it regularly, you got to throw it out, bro. Mm. It's time. That's a fact. We don't live in no mansions and shit. We don't got 30 closets. True. My thing is, my man, if you... Wearing a t-shirt and the collar's down here, my nigga. Throw that shit out, bro. Like, we not, we not, we, <laughs> yeah. I'll check, uh, check my nigga. <laughs> Yo, if the nah. collar, if the collar, and I'm risking my own collar for, for, for y'all entertainment. If y'all shits is down here, y'all got the u next. We not doing those, man. Throw them shits out. If your blue jeans is brown, <laughs> and it's like they brown after every, every wash. <laughs> yes, 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 it's time. Dirty shit. The dirtiest shit could be the faded brown, the faded blue brown jeans. The we dr- not we not doing that. The drawers. Oh my god. The holy drawers. You gotta <laughs> pack them up. Holy bro. grail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, another thing. Another thing. If your if your drawers is crusty in the middle, if them shits is crunchy, throw them out. Yeah. Throw them out, man. It's 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 time, man. It's like yeah, there's no, nothing to get a pack of fucking boxes. Man. Yeah, but nothing. <laughs> Walmart be having them deals, my nigga. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it. Nah, y'all laughing, David. Like he's what he's saying is the truth, bro. Cause you gotta know, like, I right, you got your ball days. Them them drawers ain't gonna last too long. You give you putting in that work. You get yeah. what I'm saying? 
But you gotta know, like you got certain joy, you got your Walmart drinks, like Dave talking about. Then you got your, you know, you got your nice when you going on a date or something, when you out in the club or something. Mm-hmm. You wanna get freaky? You know, too. you got your bullshits for the crib, but yeah. at the same time, it's like he said, the crustiness. The, the little hole, even the hole that's at the waistband. Stop trying to get away because it's just at the waistband, bro. <laughs> yeah, gotta, For real, bro. Gotta, Niggas got to pack. We got to pack them, bro. Yo, no funny shit. I don't think you should. people should wear ethicas every day. Whatever this is called. <laughs> the tight the, Yeah, you said it right. Yeah, the, the, you um, talking about the tight boxes? The compression. Those is oh, like compression, like compression, compression underwear, shorts. right? There's the style I mean, those are only, show, um, style. only boxes I wear, though, really. You wear ethicas all the Not time? Not ethicas, but compression like boxes. Yeah, the only ones that's I wear. like the new vibe. Dirty. How was that dirty? You sweaty balls. My balls ain't sweaty. Hey. Nigga, look down. <laughs> Nigga, look the down. Fuck, about to do a ball Wait, what am I supposed to wear? The, the loose, I mean, the loose <laughs> boxes? Not the loose box. Wear some box of briefs, nigga. Nah, I, I mean, box briefs right now, I mean, box of briefs. Right, so you don't wear ethicas all the time. No, no, but the, the majority of my boxes the are those. Style, are, I feel yeah, you. and I like it because I like it. Like not know? cotton, the li- nylon. Yeah, nylon. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I don't think what you how you ex- how you des- describing it. All of them aren't like that. Okay. But I get what you're saying because even the fit of ethicas are weird, and you can tell, especially niggas who wear them a lot. Because the problem with um, the design on them when you start washing them and shit, you could see like. It be faded yeah. and it, it, it look tighter. It just fit fit niggas with. Yeah, but niggas be tighter. wearing the same ones. <laughs> Yo, no one ain't right. got the design. All right, all right. You, it's no way you got five pair of Ethica boxes and you wear them all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then next week you switch Tuesdays with Fridays and then you switch Wednesdays with Mondays. Yeah, but you can always wash them though. But you're going to have five boxes, pair of boxes for the week? Five How many nine. times you take a shower a day? You right. No, you right. You right. I mean, but niggas be taking a shower, go to see butt ass, so they won't waste no underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so they won't waste the boxes. So they won't waste no underwear. Niggas go to sleep, butt ass. Like fuck it, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in this bitch. <laughs> Niggas Yo, is crazy. Nah. Nigga, Rome. Rome was like this. <laughs> 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 that shit tonight, nigga. <laughs> Niggas sleeping butt ass. <laughs> Not wrong, but you know, niggas be sleeping butt ass to save underwear. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't sleep crazy. butt ass. I'm not comfortable like that. <laughs> I can't. I have Yo, to have like a, <laughs> some boxes. On. I have to sleep with a shirt on too. So funny. Nah. Yeah, because I'll itch if I don't have a shirt on. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah, dirty ass bed. <laughs> 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 I'll be sleeping butt ass sometimes. Like a Hugh, Hugh Jackman body. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And they say Hugh Jackman. I, I see butt ass, but I, I sleep butt ass. Yeah, I can't see butt ass. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga wrong. <laughs> you gay. You gay. This nigga went like this for me. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he say, you got the trippy. <laughs> <laughs> Rome, you sleep in a cocoon, nigga. You don't even, you don't even got a bed, nigga. You, you, sleep, <laughs> you hang yourself up against Yo. the wall and go to sleep, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fucking caterpillar. Look <laughs> at look like a caterpillar with a fitting on. <laughs> Yo, take a picture of this nigga. <laughs> Yo. Caterpillar with a fitting on. <laughs> chill, Jay, I'm making me laugh too. Yeah, he got you, man. He got that was a good one. I came along. That was a good one. He got you pretty good, man. It's, it's funny because the fish. Nigga go, nigga go. I'm going to sleep, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nigga wake up, nigga wake up with wings. How you wake up with some wings? Fucking face hurt. Just let it ride, let it ride out. The joke gonna die eventually. Nah, but um, on some G shit though. Yo. Like you gotta know when it's time, even the socks. Even nah, the socks. All of that, all of that I've been handling, bro. But I will admit them them um the Malie socks, they have they have withstood the test of time. <laughs> For real. I'm looking at I was looking at shit, I was throwing away like, damn, bro, they they was printing these shits in twenty twelve. Like these gotta go. You feel me? Like word, yo, we just be ready. Like, do not be afraid to just let shit go. Yeah. I mean, Move some people get attached to life. things too, though. And yeah. yeah, I feel like I feel like if you if you gotta <laughs> if you gotta wipe your sneakers down every week, then you just, then <laughs> let's, let's get some more. Let's get some more sneakers. 
<laughs> like, come on, that's not those. Those can't be the go-to gift freshes. <laughs> when is it time to let when the white ups go? I mean, I mean, I like it's the his his hit is white ups for me. I'm a, I, I'm an uptown legend. I fuck. I only I wear uptowns. That's what I do, right? Mm-hmm. I say for the white ups, you could get fresh in them, a good fresh two times. You get a good fresh two times. Then after that, throw them on with the sweats or the sweat shorts. They still runs. fresh, still fresh. They still runs at that point. Those is those is like not even store. Those is like chilling on the block now. Like, oh yeah, it was good. You niggas is wilding. But um, but. To get you super super fresh, two two ways. Okay. Super fresh, two ways. I know you had this shit since last summer. You tried to throw them shits on. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I ran through um like two pairs. I just got a new uh, pair coming Tuesday. Actually. Oh, you finally yeah. found somewhere. Yeah, and no, I had to order from the Nike.com. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to a Nike's so party, and my fit is it's just amazing. Where you going where? A '90s, early 2000s party. When is that again? Uh, June 19th. June 19th. Oh, for the June 19th. Yo, yeah, I heard that um the black. Mids is Shout out to June sell out. Black mids? It's selling out. That's a different type of gangster. Black mids? Or low. You, you talking about the shit with the with the check connected? Not the check, the check connected. The strap connected. The strap no, with, with the, the strap, strap connected? Nah, just the regular strap. But yeah, I'm talking about the one, not not the high top. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Not the high top, the mids. Wow. I mean, maybe people Yo. Are like buying them to like draw it, on them or paint on them. In wow. my head, in my head, what I see right now, I see I see the mids. The all black mids with a white tank top and like a headband and do rag like together, Ugh. like just a bag. I never owned a pair of black. That's heavy. That's heavy down like south. When you said that, when you said that, you know what song I was thinking about? What? Rich boy selling crack. <laughs> all the mighties <laughs> want to check. <laughs> no slack. The photo Cadillac. Throw some D's on that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I thought about when you said that whole fit. I'm not gonna lie though, that era that But he was that, fresh in that video. He had the ice cream and shit yeah, on in did, that video, yeah, but that's did. you know, that's heavy down That Givenchy era, I was feeling that. I was feeling the mids. I didn't get them, but I was feeling the I was feeling the look of it. Shit was trash. It was, I hate it those was fire. Shits. It was it was dope. I will never forget I took an L for my brother. I will never forget. I think I probably said this on early on an early mm-hmm. podcast. I took an L. My mom gave us like one fifty to get up two pair of sneakers, which was impossible. No, not really. Yes, no, it was. No, it's probably for your taste. When you want to get fresh? Yes, yeah, I'm saying for your taste is impossible, but it's not impossible. Yo, to get bro, sneakers. word two, bro. They had these ups. <laughs> there was, there was like white. There was like there was mids, but they was fire. There was, there was the gray, all gray with the white check. Mm-hmm. Mids. Oh. The little check? Nah, the big check. The big white check. Oh. So I think my brother was going to. He was going. He was going to ninth grade, and I was still in middle school. I had got left back, so I was probably like, in, <laughs> "What was I like <laughs> seven? Laugh at that. <laughs> no, no, I was in. No, I was in sixth grade, and he was going to eighth grade. I'm lying. You was supposed to be in seventh grade. Yeah, he was in. He yeah yeah. I was in sixth grade, and he was in eighth grade. So I'm like, all right. So it's it's eighth grade. This is your year. <laughs> your time to shine. So it's these ups. He said, "Yo, I really want these, yo. I really." I'm like, "Nigga, ain't my fucking problem, nigga. I want those. You feel me? Do you know Jeans Plus? Shout out to Jeans Plus, legendary with the table sneakers. I had the fifty dollar Nikes. I want some Nikes, nigga. I don't care what kind of Nikes they were. Mm-hmm. They was Nikes. Niggas gonna cut my ass. Mm-hmm. He like, yo, bro, please. The next and the next time you get sneakers, you gonna you gonna get the best ones. I bet. He got them. You know what shit I got, bro." The U.S. Polo Assassin us, bro. <laughs> no. I swear to God, bro. Said, to my life, assassin. bro. You see, I'm not even laughing, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, did you know it wasn't like, like I knew Ralph it was. Lauren? I knew it was trash. But I'm saying, did you know it wasn't Ralph Lauren? Because nigga just see the polo sign. And bro, polo sneakers back then, Ralph Lauren or not, nigga, you was not wearing those, bro. <laughs> In Queens, they was wearing those. Because y'all niggas is bums, nigga. The fuck is you no, talking about? No, my sister had a pair of those. And niggas was feeling, uh, Oprah. feeling her sneakers. Oprah. But but what <laughs> but what year this what this is probably like oh oh four oh five they okay, went and okay, they was now, I'm like, oh my like, god I'm talking like that was Jordan year like oh oh nine or yeah see oh nine that's oh, twenty ten that's yeah. like Nike boot era that's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like Nike yeah, boot era but it's like polo yeah okay, yeah so two different but eras. this oh four oh five 
po- U.S. Polo Assassin up. They was white and red, bro. Wait, they was up. They look like ups. Yes, bro. It was, was the trash. ups up design, what, but the, the with the horse on it. But there was the only ones I could get, nigga. Wait, how much was his sneakers? His sneakers was like one ten. Oh nah, he shitting on you. Yeah, and I got the forty. I got the forty caches. Ouch. <laughs> So I took, I bit the bullet, bro. So uh, then I went home, yo, bro. I wore my, I wore them shits, bro. And I tried to put the uniform <laughs> pants over the. Side. I tried to make the uniform pants bottom as wide as possible, so niggas won't see the sneaker, bro. But yo, niggas was like, and it had a big O three on the side, bro. It had a big O three on the side, bro. God damn. Damn. And they was like, yo, this nigga, this nigga got the Marberries on oh. before Starberry came out. So got the stuff on Marbury's on. <laughs> niggas was cut my ass. Yo, bro, niggas was cut my How ass, How long until you got another pair? Though? Niggas said I got the 2003s on. <laughs> 2003. Nah, I got a, a pair wait, right wait, away. Wait, you was in his school? We know nah, 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 in middle school. Oh. But nah, yo, bro, when I tell you about I went home, I was like, yo, I'm never wearing these shits again, nigga. We sharing these. Yeah. So now we sharing. I'm not, I, I'm never, I'm never <laughs> wearing these. And my pops went and got me fresh real quick. He got me two pairs of sneakers. Mm. I was in the crib like this. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, yo, bro, niggas finish me, bro. Crazy. So at least your mom didn't go and get you like four pairs of shacks one year. Nigga. My mom had got me bad fucking no, shacks. No, nigga, up. remember when I had the shacks? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. This is the last thing. Hold on, hold on, Gigi. Hold on. Remember, remember when I had the shacks? You remember, bro. And niggas was like, yo, look. And niggas was like... Yo, those are Shaq, GG, a couple of niggas was like, yo, those are Shaqs. I'm like, yeah, these should kill O'Neal. <laughs> feel me? I'm thinking this is some new shit. And they're like, nah. Everybody's like, nah, these shits is fire. These shits is fire. But these is the sneakers that I got to wear. GG, he already, he got Jordans and he got shit already. Right. But he just happened to have the Shaqs. Shaqs too, word. Because we thought they was lit. So GG had his Shaqs on. I had my Shaqs on. I'm like, yeah, we Shaq bros. Right? <laughs> Yo, bro, I swear, the next day, the next day, niggas like, y'all niggas got on shacks, you bum ass niggas. Cut my ass, bro. This nigga Gigi goes home and changes sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm outside Fuck the Dole. bullshit. I'm, I'm outside Dolly. I'm outside Dolly, like, word? Niggas gonna leave me out there like that? I went home and put some slippers on, nigga. <laughs> I said, Ma, I'm never wearing these shits again. <laughs> What were they, just black checks? Nah, they was white. They look like the AM1 sneakers, bro. Yeah, Shaq. I ain't gonna lie. They used to take a lot of like models that was already out and just put the Shaq logo on them. Yo, yeah, Dunk with, Man. With the Dunk, dunk yeah. Man, nigga. Yeah. Somebody said my shit was doing a young jock, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. Yo, nah, that's crazy, bro. Nah, but I, I would I would never forget no shit like that, bro. But, um... Let's talk about if these two things go hand in hand. Hand in hand. What you what you want to talk about? Um, people being sore losers. Yeah, like uh, like why do people like be sore losers in video games? Like it's just a video game. It's not real life. Like I don't understand why they take it to heart. You know why get personal when it's just a game? So let me tell y'all this: when somebody's at antagonizing you all fucking night. Whoa, 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 whoa. On hold on. Game. When somebody, hold on. When somebody's been talking it's shit, personal. saying I'm gonna get the boys on you and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. What are you supposed to do? But when some, all right, all right. Dave and them, we, we, me and Mo Black was playing Dave and them, and he got a little too. You know when somebody get nice at one thing other in their life, and they want to let you know that they're nice. This is him. <laughs> This is him. You feel me? So we playing them, and mind you, they kicking our ass. How many times did we beat you? See, and, it, and I'm just saying. And I'm this is right, right. You beat y'all. Whipped, y'all won, but at whipped, the end of the day, we whipped your ass. Like we didn't have the real squad. Oh my god, here we That's go with it. the real it's squad. So then, why y'all talking like y'all did? We, we didn't. Did. We yes, did. y'all did. That's y'all was, the problem. You said you're my y'all young. Was talking he said he's gonna get his young boys. Y'all was talking shit. We called the hitters up, but the the timing wise, the, hitting, the schedule didn't work out. The schedule didn't work out. They didn't make the games that at the times we was trying to play, and that was miscommunication on both our parts. It was but like the Golden State Warriors. Versus I don't feel like y'all should talk smack until <laughs> the real LeBron hitters money. came out and y'all do your thing. Like there's been a time when me and Wave was like, "Yo, we calling the hitters," and we got cooked. We accepted it. The hitters try to do their thing. They they did their numbers, but we wasn't enough. It's it's different. It's different level of play. So we know what we capable of. But niggas forget about when I did call the hitters. 
But that's when and we first was, started playing. Like that's early on. Now it was early. No, I'm on. saying. Let me talk. That was early on when we all first started playing together, and I wasn't really <laughs> as good as I am now. But uh, but I'm when you great but now. you oh man I'm great now. He anyway, just hit 70 kills. He's hype. I hit well, it first of all, and I hit it yesterday too. Actually, and I got two times on my phone. I'll, sh- I'll show you. Anyway, that. anyway, so anyway, is, anyway. Where, many, I never. First of all, our your highest score was our lowest score on our team. You have 40. You have 42 kills. My son Garden Boy had 45. And that was the lowest score on our team at that, that time. That nigga's trash. And I f- catch you, I'm putting you in that garden, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Cliff, man. Keep we, off the we garden. We was violating you. And I kind of felt bad, but that was I feel like that was your you fault, too, though. I kind of felt bad. Because when we did the free-for-all, you was talking shit during the free-for-all, and I won that free-for-all, right? And I, you, when you were in the free-for-all, the first person oh, is the brother. team captain, the second person is the team captain. Oh, brother. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. How he fucked it up? He fucked it up be because, okay, anyway. he, he fucked it up because he, he had the first round draft pick. Yeah. He chose Kwame Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and and who, who was Kwame Brown? He said the wavy one. I'm like, yo. I was like, yo, you yo, could have. Hold on. That's you loyalty, call, nigga. Oh, it's not. It's about. Okay. That's I loyalty, understand nigga. loyalty, but that's you wouldn't. loyalty. I, wave, I guarantee you, you would have still been there. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> the, <laughs> thing, the thing that Dave. That's, and this is <laughs> he would have still been there. This like, is what's, what's pissing us off. That yeah. Dave don't give credit when it's due. Never. If Never. I play with Wave. If I play with Wave. And this is the whole Me and Wave win. We win. It's not like I play with him and I, it's like loyalty and we losing and shit. And it's like, oh, it's all good. It's my nigga. No, that's, nigga. No, I play. We was. play together. But that's literally and we what be it was. winning. Thank so you. I'm, I'm going to ride you. out. We're going we to go to okay, war okay, together. Okay, okay. Yo, every time, every time I have a good game, it's crickets. But when they win, it's, yo, your niggas is trash. Okay. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Okay. Can I say this? Okay. Oh, damn, I forgot my train of thought. Um, <laughs> I forgot my train of thought. So much wins on your mind, you know, shit like that happens. Um, <laughs> that sounds like some Drake shit to say. Corny that Corny ass intro to the track and shit. So many wins on your so mind. So many you wins know. on my mind. I don't just know. Just forget what you want to say. I'm just, I'm just scrambling. <laughs> you could have, you could have evened the team out. That was your fault. Yo, listen. You could have evened the team out because you know y'all don't get. You talk about not giving credit when it's due, right? These niggas will make up 101 excuses to why they're losing. I heard this nigga say we hacking the game, my nigga. Who says that shit? <laughs> Nobody's nigga, the he said, the game. you didn't say that to the <laughs> His man's was doing the hacks of the game, He bro. said, then he got no, mad. No, no. Time out, time out, time out. Before you go on. He said they're doing the hacks of the game. Okay, like, basically, okay, cool, whatever. doing cheating shit. All right, cool. You know, whatever. if you play Call of Duty, you know there's, there's, cheat, there's shit to cheat. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then, so we can get into the main topic. Then this nigga says, damn, I keep losing my trade of thought. Um... I said y'all was doing hacks of the game. Yeah, and then this nigga gets mad at my cousin for running around the map. He was like, this nigga running too much. <laughs> what is that, my nigga? That's not what I said. You said he's running too much. That's not what much. I said, bro. He said he's That's running too much. That's not what I said. trash. Everything this, we do, my nigga, is an issue. There's a these goal niggas. of the game. And, Teddy Roosevelt, and, and, you and trash, nigga. he's not the only nigga. one. But there's goals of the game, and then there's niggas who, who's up on the team that like, I right, everybody's doing what they supposed to do for the for the for the point of the game. Mm-hmm. I'ma just run around and just kill niggas. That's not a part of the game. Like that's not killing the, niggas. We gotta kill no, you so you don't dominate. No, no, no. If the, the, we gotta kill the you point so of dominate. the game is to secure spots. If you play in domination, you secure A, okay. B, and C. Yo. Right? But y'all kept coming to A. The nigga is not securing nothing. He just going around the board, so we keep trying to go to the spots, and then this, this nigga's there as soon as I, I spawn. <laughs> he just right there and shit, laughing. Da, 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 shoot you. Come on, my Yo, nigga. Like, Teddy Roosevelt, you trash, nigga. <laughs> Yo, we were, and, I thought, and you know, Roosevelt. I felt bad because, you know, we just too nice together. But, you know, we could have we could have divided the teams be, evenly. These niggas be not giving each other necklaces. Yo, that, that shit. That we could have divided, like, divided the teams but evenly. My thing, but look, my thing is, why... Or why don't people give the credit that needs to be given? Why are people scared to do that? Mm. Yeah. I um, think it's I think it's always a pride thing. Yeah, it got, it's, I think our pride has a lot to do with that in, in a sense. You know, I feel like y'all was very prideful when we was playing. Y'all, y'all could never just be like, yo, good game, good game, Dave. But you can't, you can say being is, is being prideful, mm-hmm. but you don't give niggas a chance to say good game. You just straight off the bat, we just fucking killed y'all niggas. Okay, and what did I say wrong? But why? how do you expect me to say good game? It's not a good game. It is a good game. Well, it, it's, not right, a, it, it's not a good game. You don't get good It's not know? a good game when you like when you when you ha- have such a, a drastic lead in the game. It's not All a good right, game. It's just bitch. a game, right? Anyway. Yeah, because we, we could. We I, but but I get more. Mo, I don't give you your props all the time. Right. Bro, I say you LeBron bro, James. My thing is, my thing is, you LeBron James my thing is how do y'all have this, this, this such great team, right? 
when we playing in a custom match, I've never seen niggas put together such a seamless plan when we playing against a random people online multiplayer, bro. Yeah, don't listen. I've That's never seen a whole, you put your century here, I'll put a trophy system under it. It's five centuries in the game now out of nowhere. And Miraculous. And that was the excuse you was using too. Listen, man. You said too much centuries. Yo, listen, listen. Just the hell? Go- Let's just move on. I'm sorry, we got score streets. Before I, get, before I get fired up in this bitch, <laughs> before I get heated up in this bitch, shout out the, shout out to um, what's what's Denzel shit? Bit barbecue. Bit barbecue. <laughs> My nigga Ric Flair, Garden Boy, Teddy Roosevelt. Who else was on your team? Uh, that was it. That's yeah, that was it. That yeah, was and Dave. That was, yeah. And Dave Bumass. Dave Legendado. Dave, Dave Legendado. Shout out to my shout out Mo Black. Shout out to my son Neil. Shout, shout out, out to Akasuki. Akasuki. Shout out to Money Bag. Shout out to um Skills. Neil Dior. My nigga Neil. He was he was whack, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga was, was whack, my nigga. Yo, anyway. Yo, what's the definition? Cause we all listen, who who if you love hip hop, raise your hand. I like right. it. So what? I said I like it. I said actually, did you love it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, of course. Okay, motherfucker. What's the definition of leaving somebody on a track? Uh, a Drake feature. <laughs> That's the truth, though. Yo, did y'all hear the Migos album? <laughs> yeah. Yo. Y'all hear the Migos album? Yet, nah. Y- y- y'all didn't hear that Drake verse? That was literally a Drake song featuring the Migos. Buddy. He left them niggas on that shit. Okay. What's the definition but- of? I ain't gonna front. It's not, but but there's been you you can you can you can fuck with Drake. I think little I think little baby he, little baby could fuck with Drake. Little baby could fuck with Drake. Yes, the Migos are good. They're good. What are you talking about? <coughs> there's three of them, so there's three chances to fuck with Drake. <laughs> yeah, let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> he subtly said that shit, right? Anyway, oh, we dude. was we was just listening. Me, Mo Black, Doogie Doogie. Do, my nigga, do. We were just listening to seeing green, mm-hmm. right? Again, for like, for, yeah. So you know, for like the eight, one thousand time, we've been talking about seeing green, Nicki Minaj featuring Drake and um Lil Wayne, and I actually was looking at the lyrics to this shit, and we are breaking this shit down, yo, mm-hmm. bro. All of them went crazy, mm-hmm. like all of them. But I feel like Wayne went the hardest. Wayne left Nicki and Drake, and he went first. Okay. I yeah. feel like he left him. So what's my thing is what's the formula? What is what does it take to leave somebody on a track? But you see what and what I said it's was not rapping them really. What I said was um Well who do you think went the hardest? I can't cons- I, in that song, like after really like, you know, you gotta hear it a couple times and like he said, reading it and like breaking down certain things, certain bars and things like that to fully gauge like what they saying and then overall together. I'm looking at that song as a song that nobody left anybody, but it's safe to say Wayne might have had the best verse. But they all had good verses, like to say they all had shit that you could remember or you could be like, oh, that was a good line or two. Like she had a, they had a good line or two a piece. Yeah. You know, like in my opinion, leaving somebody is like you could have did without them on a the song, period. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like they okay. was better off not even being on it. Because you you took the you took it over. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, I, I mean that's an opinion. So. That's an opinion. Yeah, that's yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying in terms of because like I said, if you look at a song like Seeing Green and I listen to all three verses, I'm like, nobody really left anybody in my opinion. Yeah. But Wayne's verse was the best. But that's not leaving nobody to me. But I, don't I feel think like that means you yeah, left the other party. Hold on, hold on. Because they all they were they was all no, able to I fuck feel with like it. I feel I feel like you can have a fire verse and still get left. You that feel too. what I'm saying? Like hey, but, I'm gonna give you okay. Okay, no, no, I'm just gonna say like it's objective though because they all went hard. It's not like a blatant, yo, this nigga went off. You, no, you, but you, I'm you, saying, but at the just same time, what got, he said just, was, just, yeah, just because you got left, don't mean your verse wasn't. Because let's look at, what let's look me? at, um, what yeah, happened? he oh, randomly heard. Call me a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! oh <laughs> I thought crazy. he said crazy than that, like sucker. English shit. He said sucker. English shit is a good is a good representation of that. Would you say that again? Both they. Um, ignorant shit with um, okay, yeah, with Drake with and, and, um, Drake. and Wayne. That's young, Wayne, and, yeah, Wayne Angel, and Drake. Yeah, young Angel, Young Lion, nigga. <laughs> but like Drake <laughs> bodied that, but he gave Wayne the assist, <laughs> the perfect assist, where it was like, yeah, he left him. Okay, so completely. yo, let me ask you. Uh, uh, I'm well, sorry, I got. Okay. I had an example. I was gonna say an example too. I okay. got an example on <laughs> on that Miss Me track. 
you, you felt like Wayne left? Wayne left Drake on that. Can you really say that though? I because the, 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 so the, the, I don't piss the ground off. I got so many flows. I am a group. <laughs> That's what <laughs> <he is. laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, nah, yo, bro. Now when you broke that down, it's what, um, yeah, bro. But hold on, say? but I was gonna say what's popping. I feel like Tori left all of niggas on that track. On the, track the, is that? Oh, what's poppin the what's popping remix? remix. Tori what, went the hardest. The track is that what's, what's popping. Poppin'? Yeah, Brand but the remix drink though. The remix. Yeah, I only know that from 2K. They had the pop. I said, <laughs> nah, the remix. Yeah, Tori, I said the Tori, poppy. Tori. They had the baby. <laughs> they had the baby. Poppy. <laughs> the poppy. <laughs> I don't know why I said the poppy. I love the poppy. You know the poppy. <laughs> I love the poppy. <laughs> they, the baby. They had the baby. They had Jack. They had Lil Wayne and they had Tori. Who's Jack? Jack? Jack Harlow. Harlow. That's his song. Oh, okay. I think Tori went the hardest. Um, that's yeah, a, but that was that's something you know. Somebody the leaving niggas on the track. You said what? Um, I know Tori left uh, the G4 boys on that. Um, my watch, Patique, my food. I don't know that song. Bad bitch, you don't know that song? Mm-mm. All right, whatever. Um, you know what else? Other song that's a great example of what you said that you could still have a fire verse and get left. Mm-hmm. Um, what we do, even though what we do is wrong. You still hustle for the sun come up. Crack a forty. They had. They was talking down. about that shit. They was talking <laughs> about that shit. And that saying, saying, um, gotta kill witnesses because free beer sticking, sticking out. out. Mm. That was kind of cr- a crazy, and that might have been a crazy line without him having the best verse. Like a lot of niggas say, Freeway got the best the verse, verse on that. When, even when you don't have the hottest verse, you can kind of still fit on the song, though. Like, yeah, but perfectly. then that's what we're talking about in terms of like still being um, who left who. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Even this track, I don't know if, if y'all noticed this this remix Bro. or not, mm-hmm. but um, the viewers might the the kiss your ass goodbye remix. Mm, you remember you that? You know about that? It's Sheik Luch. Nah, it's, it's okay. Oh, so give me a refresher. It's Sheik, Sheik Luch. D block, D block, D block, D block. Nah, nah, nah. I gotta hear it. Fat, I knows. feel like fat body niggas on that. Mm, see? Or even. I gotta um, go back. You gotta go back and Or even my, my my son, Um, I don't know if it was my son Trey, but um, he, um, Ric Flair's in the building. Even, um, fuck. Put your he brought on. up, remember Cassidy's song? The, um, Six minutes of death. Mm-hmm. It was Wayne, Fab, and then Cassidy, and like it was like the a debate of who left who on that. You feel what I'm saying? You do you know that song? No. Well, give me a song that you do know mm-hmm. with That's a couple it. artists on you it that you feel like somebody got left on. Um, I'm gonna say uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Monster, Nicki Minaj. She left every, all of them grown yeah, ass yeah, man yeah, on that track. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. definition of getting left. She yeah. she bodied that, yeah. but they still didn't have whack verses though. But yeah. they couldn't fuck with her on that on that song in particular. Mm. Lil Wayne. Uh, um, Death Wish with Jada Kiss. Mm, Wayne, Wayne left Jada on that. That's a fact. That's a f- oof. Mm. Yo, um, give it um, to give it to Flair. Who who got left on the track, Flair? Um, hmm. I'm I'm thinking of um, what's that song? Well, um, Eminem left him on his own beat. Uh, <laughs> was it Renegade? <laughs> no, who left who though? He didn't leave Hove. He had a better verse. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> All right, let, you let, trying to say that Eminem left Hove on Renegade? He didn't leave him, but I feel like he definitely nah. had a better verse. Nah, I don't think so. We got to, after this, we got to tune in. We got to tune um, in. Even, even, even to like more recent, the Pride is the Devil drink. Who's that? Um, that was J. Cole and Lil Baby and Lil Baby. And niggas saying Lil Baby left. Little Baby left him. But I don't I don't think it I don't think that was the case. I think it more so the way the verse was set up in his flow that allowed him to just jump in, mm-hmm. like boosted the effect of people being like, yo, that was hard. Like just cause he can't like you know what I mean? I don't necessarily think he left him on it. Mm. But how how about um Lil Baby and Drake, once and needs? Lil Baby left him. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> what you say about that? Look at Drake. Look at look. Uh, look I said Drake. I said look at Drake. Look at Drake. Look at Drake. Look at said that 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 verse though. That verse is crazy. Mm. And that's they even the, had a little cartoon about it. And it goes. It? And it, oh, I gotta see that. Yeah. But it goes back to what I was saying before you before you came in, where it's like um, hearing once it needs right. You like yo. That could have been just b- little baby song, and t- forget about that other verse. No, I'm saying, like, yeah, not cool. always, and I'm not saying it's 100 percent fact for that song. But when but, you hear that verse, they, you kind of go, "Damn, no, but, that, like but, he had it, like he could have just had that for some his own shit." I mean, but yeah. they both gave bars, though. It wasn't like it and, was, and that goes it, back it, to what I said. Both, you like, can still get left. You can still get left. Another song, another good example to me is like, um, 
Black Boy JB and Drake look alive. Like even though Black Boy JB's verse was trash, he still fits on the song. You, you, you. I'm <laughs> through. I, um, in terms of like yeah, the song should have been their own song. Uh, Drake left the game on 100. Y'all know that. No, nah, I don't think he left the game on 100. The game, Drake the game had, had uh, the game had that, bars. Left him. But he wasn't did, that song? It, it was wasn't that hook, verse though. borrowed? Really? No, 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 no. Was no, that no. the song no, no, that no, no. Drake? You two, no, no, you talking about um, who do you love? Yeah. Oh. All oh, my ex for one hundred. That's it. We uh. win the game. I don't think he left him though, because he was on the hook and then he gave bars, but the game the gave bars is, too. The thing is, I feel like Drake's verse was just a lot better than the game. You get what I'm saying? Okay, that's a, but yeah, and that's, that's, that's why, like you said, though. it's, it's gonna expected? be subjective. But if you if you saying like, yo, I really could have just. Listen to the shit without. Yeah, that's how I when I listen to Green Ranger with I think Lil Wayne left J Cole on that one. <laughs> what he did? He left him on that one. That song was trash. That freestyle <laughs> was trash to me. Anyway, what? What? Both? Both from both artists? How you gonna jump me if my legs work? You thought that was funny? You said I, I no, relate I don't think to that a, a lot. But it was that was trash. It was a funny. It was a funny line, and it set up the the bone. Rope said, I relate to that. Nigga, no, we know gone. you did it. <laughs> right. He jumping nigga. you. He's standing right there. And my legs don't work. How y'all niggas say, yeah, how y'all gonna jump it? My legs don't oh, work. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas. I feel like that brings up another conversation as well. Like, because I feel like a lot of these mainstream rappers, like the top, top echelon, they could get away with corny balls more than the, yeah. the general mm-hmm. consensus. But they say fire shit. They do. Like Kanye. So like, like Kanye. I was in too deep, like Makai Fife. It's <laughs> <laughs> not even a movie. You know, he was but the, but, too but deep. his his delivery made it hard though. That 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 delivery delivery but, is like, everything. For instance, That's some getaway Drake, shit, Drake said the Channing Tatum. His name is Channing Tatum. That's not. But it's, 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 else says But that, he it's has not. so much chains that they call him Channing Chang Chang and Tatum. That's well, not his name. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's what they do, nigga. You fucked it up. Let me say it. Drake. <laughs> Chang- <laughs> I forgot how to say it, but Chang- 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 who thinks the shit like that? Like J. Cole, J. Cole. I'm hot dog. Catch up to me, nigga. That's whack. That's whack. But he he set it up. He he kind of played with. Nigga looked directly in his face and was like, "That's whack." Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, Gucci man left Wayne on Steady Mobbin. Nah, 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 nah
Lil Baby's doing it the best now. Pitch on a block like a You get a little baby feature, he probably gonna leave you on his, your own song. That's what he did to J. Cole. No, he <laughs> the only person he's left is Drake, bro. He did not leave Cole. He, he, left, left, Cole. he, left, he left Cole. He, he left Cole. He did not Drake. leave he Cole. Left Cole bro. He left Cole. He left Cole. He left Cole. You just want him to have left Cole because he, he left, left Drake, Cole, he like. made him cold, nigga. That was trash. That's bars. Nigga. He didn't <laughs> leave he didn't leave Cole. Cole set him up <laughs> for the fire is flow in the song. He set him up for it. Mm. And he didn't even put him on a feature list so it hit harder. Yo, he didn't put nobody on the future. But list. it makes the song hit harder. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Nah, nah, that's you absolutely right because when I heard Cam on that, killer. But is that even a, is it's the a off season. Though? I mean, I get he's talking on it. Mm. But anyway, let's move on. Let's go to um the Mount Rushmore. Make a fuck with Drake though. That's mm. all I'm gonna say. Let's okay. go to these Mount, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore of what? Just hip hop in general? Yeah, like like of our you know. I uh, let's do let's we we could we could do it how you want to do it. Let's do Mount Rushmore of now. Of now, your per, your your personal Mount Rushmore of hip hop artists. Of hip hop artists, I'll go first. I'll yeah, set yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> for me, is Hove, Cam, Fifty, Cam. Uh, am I? Yeah, Hove, Fifty, Cam, Fat Joe. Is Mount Rushmore only has four faces? Fuck them niggas. We we black. No, niggas <laughs> in the top five niggas is you gotta, you gotta <coughs> keep the Hove, I'm not so I'm so I'm not gonna be biased. I'm not Yeah. No, no, I'm gonna put Cam. Hove, 50, Fat Joe, and Cam. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna say Drake. Well, yo, Fat Joe, I what happened? I like I like Joe. I, I got it. Fat Joe is legendary though. Fat Joe is legendary. Yeah, good, Dave. I'm gonna say uh Fat Joe is a legend. I'm gonna say Drake, 50 Cent. Um Mount Rushmore of now. We talking now? No, you said I said personal. Going personal. Oh, personal. Oh, okay, Drake. Yeah, yes, yeah, it is. I'm bugging. Yeah. Right, like, let me let me take Fat Joe. Out. I'm gonna put Lil Wayne. I'm bugging. Let me. I'm gonna put Wayne. But the fifth face would be Fat Joe, just for me growing up. Just like a favorite rapper list, then. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like you, but you seem like come on, bro. <laughs> but I'm just saying, cause like I, I don't want it to. Do it's gonna be biased yeah, as hell. Like. Like Donald Trump shit, bro. But when I was, but listen, I don't do that. but when I was growing up, those was the niggas that was popping. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's course, the Mount course, Rushmore course. of 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 my age group. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to think, cause I, I don't. Go ahead, Mo. Cause you just you just threw your own self off track. Nah, I, I still didn't have a time for. Damn. I thought we was doing Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm my shit is way my shit is way off. I don't care. Um, I'm and I just changed it again. Kanye, I'm gonna put Kanye up there. Mm. Mm. Kanye, Wayne. We talking about rappers though. Kanye, Wayne, fucking um, Big Sean. You not gonna put Travis in there? No, nah, I wouldn't put him up there. Who Travis? Travis when I say Kanye, rapper. Wayne. Big Sean in fourth. I like Jay. I'll put Jay up there. Gotta put Hove up there. Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Drake. I'm gonna put Future there. Drake, Future, 50, and give me Nikki. Nigga <laughs> said that smile. He said Nikki. Uh. Time, so what? So you say you want to talk about Atlanta? No, I was saying because I had read a post that that would that had a, a a Mount Rushmore of Atlanta. And who was on it? I think it was Doug, mm-hmm. uh, Little Baby, Future was there, and I think they said um, Little Baby was up there. No, yeah, it was Mount Rushmore of, of Atlanta. Nah, Little Baby. Baby was on the Mount Rushmore of Atlanta. It was um, Doug, Future, Baby, and then I forgot who the fourth person. Rich person. Homie Kong? Yeah, Rich Homie Con. Yes, yes, that's what it was. No Gucci Man. No, that's somebody's. Uh, my my personal feel. Okay, you gotta put first of all, Thug and Future. They they gotta stay for Atlanta. Um, you gotta put um. Nah, you should put Gucci there. But you know who? Ti. Uh, you when I'm when I'm thinking Ra- Mount Rushmore, I'm thinking is people that like paved the way, not niggas that the Mount Rushmore should. I feel I it should put, be Ludacris, Ti, um, Gucci and Jeezy. But do you know how influential Young Thug and Future are? Those four names are highly influential. Yes, but Thug and Future though, but way very, more, like but they they spawned a whole for breed now, of niggas. I'm talking about for now though. They that, impact, that generation right? waves talking about spawned everybody you named just now. Yeah, literally everybody. Absolutely. How you know that? Future came from Dungeon Family. <laughs> how do you know that though? <laughs> how do you know that? No argument. Future came from the Dungeon Family. Just so you know. What that. was his original name? 
don't you don't even know. The president. It was me. It was meathead. It was meathead. It was meathead. He doesn't exist. It was meathead. That's my point. It was meathead. It was meathead. It was. Nigga said the president. His name was meathead. Dave. Dave. Who's that? That was Fuchsia's name when he was dungeon. He's wildin'. He was wildin'. Yeah, Outcast deserves that too. Andre three thousand alone. No, not before Big Boy. No, yes, hell no, way, not way before, before Big, Big Boy. Boy. Not what? before Big Boy. What do you mean? Because he don't have no solo success. Big Boy does. You can, first of all, first of all. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's his, his whole own it's project. It's an Outcast album. But it's separate projects. No, but it's, it's released outcast. as one, Big but Boy, it's separate projects. Boy, yo, you got, you got Hey, y'all un- went, how, 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 how good did it And what does it say, Outcast, It right? does, but who is on the song? But who's, it's Outcast song. But who's on the song? That's not solo success, Dave. Just because the name is on it, that is success. Because the whole song it's is by su- himself. It's success in general, but it's not. So, you get what I'm saying? It's not solo. I get what you're saying, he, but that song like, is Andre, literally just Andre. Uh, cool. Andre never removed himself from Outkast and and dropped albums. The Speaker Box and Love Below is a Outkast album. It's a it's an Outkast album. Big boy. I I understand right. I understand that, but Big Boy has solo albums. That has the numbers. Mm-hmm. I like the shutter bug. Nigga, I like the way you move. Da, da, I like, he, that's that's solo success. A hit. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Andre don't uh, Andre don't got and I feel like to put Andre before Big Boy on that is that's that's not fair. I mean it's his opinionated, so it don't really matter. I mean be talking in general. Bummel. Huh? Yeah, if you're gonna put outcast, put outcast. Don't say especially three thousand. Because I feel like he's very influential. He he might be. He might be. But I'm throwing big boy up there before before. Why him. would you do that? Why are you separating them? Because you but said But you it. just said why would you separate them? No, but them? you the one that said especially three thousand. I mean, and I maybe said you changed my if mind. it came down to maybe it. Maybe you changed my mind. If I, if it came down to it, I'm putting big boy. You're not gonna catch me with that whole argue. Slow scheme that you do. Now, what do you? What do you? What do you? Nothing. Mean? Anyway, um, let's let's what get. He think too we need to revisit it. that topic because damn, Dave, call me daddy. <laughs> he this nigga's being messy in a in a in a in a, in a gizzle fashion. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's get to the um. He st- he still got the his Sunday Thursday hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with a nigga like that. He's gonna drop on Thursday though. So. You know what cut type of time he on? Oh, let me see. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> like said, no. I'm waiting for that one, huh? Let's get to the um. Let's get to questions from the land. This is uh uh. This is a crazy question. You right? Yeah, you going first? Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Oh, get it. So it's a good one. It's a good one. Look look how long the question yeah, is. I'm, I'm looking at it. Right. God damn. Nigga said. <laughs> He said, I need some advice. I want to stay anonymous. <laughs> I found out my colleague is attracted to me. She looks good, and I want to smash for sure. But I find her boss more fire. <laughs> Which one should I approach? Keep in mind, I don't know if her boss likes me or not, but she do be flirty. Also, I've been in situations where I fuck with coworkers, and it usually doesn't end well and ruins my work environment. Mm. So how... So, excuse me. So I don't know what the hell to do. Help. I <laughs> do I approach <laughs> Yo, excuse me. I ain't, I ain't get my hooked on phonics in a minute. Do I approach one and risk my work environment over some cheeks? If so, which one should I approach? Or should I just dub it and be comfortable at work but get no cheeks either? <laughs> <laughs> my son answered his own question. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He answered his own question. So, look. So, Shout, shout out to my guy. I'm not gonna say your name, Michael. But um, shout out. Nah, nah, that's not his name. I was just joking. But um, you at work? All right, you at work, and somebody trying to wild out. What's what's good? What's what's going on? Um, what y'all doing? If you attracted to them, yeah. No, you can't just can fuck up a work environment. You can't just say you can't just say you at work and Uh-oh. you made it too simple. That's not what he said. He's saying he got options. Mm. And one option well, he said is he doesn't know the, if the boss is feeling him. He got right. options, but but what did he say though? He feel like he could hit it though. That's what it sounded well, you're like. You're supposed to feel like that. You're supposed to have that. Uh, you're you supposed don't feel to feel like that, that about the boss. Listen, <laughs> if you could get the boss, you get the boss, baby. <laughs> go nah, big or go I home. Say, I say go for the one that you already know is interested in you. Cause you can't. Nah, cause she gonna. Cause up you the shoot your shot, but you shoot your shot at the boss and it don't work. 
Now you're going to probably potentially fuck up the, the chance you got to with the other shorty. Take the shorty that, that's throwing it at you. The boss don't be around the co-workers? <laughs> Wait, the boss don't be around the co-workers? How do you know that? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> how, how do you know that? I'm saying they don't, bro, the boss is not cho- and, and, chopping and, it and, like and, that. In different work environments, sometimes the boss probably does not, you know, mingle They're not politicking. Shit. Yeah, they're, they're not, not politicking. I mean, he he are you he doing your he, job? He yes. He said he's flirting with her, so he's interacting with her. Okay. So with who? The, the boss. boss. He said he's flirting with like her. Okay. He comes, comes off as flirty. And he know oh, the other one. Just get both of them, nigga. Fuck it. I, I'm going to say go for the boss. But At why? the very least, but who looks the better, co-workers, the co-workers there. She's there. She's going to be there. She's going to like you even more. Once you nah, get that boss work, I, don't, I, don't <laughs> so. I say go after the the one who's interested in you. No, that because you know for a fact is interested in you. Yeah, I but don't he think said he he would smash though, so he got to be interested. Yeah, but he extent. don't want to smash. He don't want to smash, and then she 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 messing up the work environment because now she. But the boy, imagine she don't know what, how to act. imagine if you smash the boss, right? And she, she can really fuck up. up your whole work environment. Nigga. She could probably change your schedule and everything for the well, better. Oh, fire! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, fire you. Even, okay, for you could say she could do it for the better and for the worse too, nigga. You you do something to her. She don't like it, nigga. Now your whole schedule. But is then that, that's you putting so the, you putting that out there that that something's gonna go. You no, putting I'm all not, the I'm, going I'm, wrong. But you have to. But he said, he hit the boss and the boss love it. What's good? No but promotion. Said, <laughs> it's not. A, but it's not about. Why are you that, talking though? about? Oh, he's gonna fuck up the like but what? Because he just said, does he want to fuck up the work environment you, with the you, coworker? Because she's gonna be but talking. Imagine if you fucking the boss and something goes wrong, nigga. She can really fuck up your life, my nigga. When it comes to work, bro. So why not fuck with the colleague? What can the colleague do? She's gonna fuck up the work environment. And you think the boss can't she, fuck up the work? Who no, can because the work she's the one more? that's doing the, the work and shit. Now she can't focus because she's she too busy watching you. The boss could could really fuck, the fuck, boss. The boss could fuck it up. <laughs> could the fuck boss could fuck, could fuck up your work environment a lot more than your colleague because yeah. your colleague don't got no power over you at exactly. the end of the day. Mm. She don't you got know, no power, but she she can be a distraction. But the, but the colleague do got. She's a distraction because she's with the other coworkers. True, true. But she does have a power over you. Yeah, now she was trying you know to get bitched up know, on the, on you the job. You know what it's called? It's called the rumor. Not a rumor, Ooh. the rumor. And you know what that rumor is? That nigga got a little ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> they let that circulate around the workspace. You're going to be real uncomfortable. And it's the, and who's and who? Like, like I'm saying, lying, yo. the boss don't want they they not not trying to have their business like that out there. As far as the coworker, she going to be telling people, yo, like, you don't yeah, know that we you fuck. You, what you, you do not know that? Yo, women talk, bro. Women this talk, but yeah, women no, talk. No, no, no. Boss, I feel like he's more likely not going to want to get their shit around. So if you fucking around, no, with no matter who like, she, she's yo, not telling the other co. Yeah, you get she, what I'm she saying? She's like, not telling the other coworkers. She telling other bosses. Listen, man. At the end of the day, I think, like you know. Us being people with jobs, you know, I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend, you know, shitting where you eat at. Facts. At the end of the day, especially if you ain't got no other options out here to, to be employed. But if you feel like it's worth it, if you feel like an opportunity like that ain't going to come along, mm. more power to you, my brother. Just don't get lost in the sauce. Dave, you got a question? You got a question? Nah, I don't got nobody fucking mm-hmm. me with this. Word? This, this week, nigga. This week. Nobody nobody's fucking me. He said nobody fucking me this week. <laughs> you, got a, you got any questions, Black? Yeah. You got a question? I got a question. Let's give one before we get out of here. <clears throat> I can't look at you? Oh, here we go. Hey, yo. I think it's that shit mad like. Nah. So, the person didn't write this as a question, right? But the question is. If an ex that broke your heart um, tries to get back in contact with you, do you entertain it in hopes that y'all will have the conversation or nah? Conversation of what? And you haven't... Sp- okay. Um, you haven't spoke to them in over a year. Where I was thinking about that, but obviously. The conversation is like the closure conversation. Oh. Like you want closure from the situation. Mm. So... Yeah. Do you have the conversation or do you? I don't mean, so what the fuck is closure like? I hate closure that is word. like I, mean, <laughs> I hate it. Like, no what, mic. Yo, <laughs> like, 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 I hate it. Like, yo, if it's like, if it's done, it's done. But like, it's not that easy. Can for I some have people. closure? Can because I have closure? Because sometimes you closure. want to know what you what you was doing wrong. Closure. No. What? Sometimes you want closure. I'm good. I'm good. Fuck that. Go ahead, um, Flair. If y'all wasn't together for a year, then that was the closure. That time was closure. Yeah, like. Oh, I but mean, is it, but I is mean, time-wise, in terms of how long they've been together, I don't think she necessarily like put a t- 
time no, stamp. She like, basically said they haven't spoken in a year, like mm-hmm. since they broke up. So who I don't know how long they've been together. That's crazy. You, okay. Dave, what um, you were saying? I was. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's unnecessary, in my opinion. Uh, just let, let it be. That's how I feel. I got a question for y'all before we get out of here. Damn, can I? I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother. Wait, I, think about, Gigi, I feel like Gigi, you have a good insight on that. No, no, oh, give, he was give old, it to Rome. Okay. Give, wait, give the mic to Rome. Rome want to close it? No, I'm saying I feel like he's <laughs> Babe, personal closure, experience. please. Nah, I feel like. My I heart. F- honestly, I feel like <laughs> closure is unnecessary. <laughs> just make your own decision to, to stop fucking with the person mm. in general. My and, heart. You know? Ah, heart closure. <laughs> <laughs> although, although I agree with what everybody said, um, I think if it's taking this long, to even like think about having a chance to have a conversation, I think you're better off not having a conversation. It's only gonna be um worse on y'all y'all end. You think it could be worse? It, it could probably potentially be something, you know, it could help you out. Nah, because you gotta remember, think. Hold on, remember, I don't mean to but remember what Wave said when he when um yeah, he said something off camera. But um when his his friend basically like, you know, helped eased his mind in a sense. Mm-hmm. So that that can be an ease of the mind. When you hear it from the, you know, from the person instead of your thoughts just going crazy, you can actually hear it from them and that could give you a sense of relief. Like Okay, it wasn't me. It, it was you. Type okay. shit. So that but, that could it could give you. you but know, it's a like at this age, uh, at our age, and not to be like I'm not saying nobody's age, but at the end of the day, it's like we at a position where it's this or that, bro. It's really mm-hmm, not that mm-hmm. much diff- more difficult to where you really sit and fighting with yourself, like eh, eh, you get what I'm saying. Her. Like but you have this. Do I there's some her? people. There's some people who's who are able to have great sex with everybody. Just being honest. There's people out there like that. Mm-hmm. Then there's some people that you have good sex with some people. You have bad sex with some people. And it's just like that. Like, And that's just sex. There's people you fuck with and you like, yo, they like a bro. She's the sis. Like, I fuck with her old D. Then there's people like, ah, I don't really, I fuck, we fuck. And that's it. You know, like, you know people in them stages. So why are you making this shit more difficult for yourself because when you when know you love somebody, it is? it's a different feeling. And that's that love. Shit. But it's at the same time feeling. that it is love, it's like, like we said, if the shit been over a year... The love and the experience that you had with that person, as important as you thought it was, if it was that important, you'd still have it. The fact that you don't have it no more says everything. There's nothing else that you need to hear besides that. Like, the time it has shown, all right. So the best thing I would say that you could do is just level up because ain't nothing better than success. Like, well, you don't even think about that person because everything in your life is going so great. Who gives a fuck about But even, the even if you saw yeah. you probably think about the person every day too, though. I got a question. Yeah. I feel like... If that opportunity never presents itself, you gonna have to get over it either way. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. why take that opportunity? Absolutely. And, and I mean, but if they reach out and you still have a, a liking yeah. or a love for that person, you might you, you might just listen to what they have to say. Mm-hmm. I got I'm a question. Okay. I got a question. Right before we could, you had to one season. All right. So th- it. it's a girl, right? And don't say, well, I don't. I, I don't have a girl I want right now. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, do you think a, I'm gonna say that? This for, yes, because you you do that. That's your shit. Um, there's a girl, right? It could be your wifey, it could be somebody you really love, or it could be somebody you fell in love with. And this is your final plea. This is your final plea. Yo, I need that. I need you. But the only way to get her is if you sing a song. <laughs> what song are you picking to get your girl back? And you like don't just say any this this song is gonna like gotta have her like Babe, come on. I don't want nobody to say my song. I got to sing um, Love by Keisha Cole. <laughs> oh, that love. shit. Psst. Ooh, that's a good one. I got I got four minutes by Vaughn. Ooh. Ooh. Four, four minutes. I got Crawl by Chris Brown. Who? Ooh. Crawl. Crawl. Okay, Chris okay, Brown. okay. What you got, Give Dave? Give it to me. I got to think a little bit. I'm really trying what you got? This nigga going to say, own it. What you, what you, what you, what you got? It's yours. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna be Donnell Jones. Oh. I'm gonna be the mm, one mm, that mm, comes mm. home after work, and fix your bath water. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know what I'm doing. If I had one wish, <laughs> we would be best friends. Love will never end. It would just be good. Yo, Ray J was good. It's the only way I, I can get you right back here. <laughs> this is so true. I go, then Ray I will have that. you for sure. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Stand up and listen to that before. Me, uh, he smashed on that. <laughs> Yo, Ray J bodied that. <laughs> Ray that, right? J's a legend. He, he bodied that. that. I'm that. I'm going. And if it's raining. Weird, Yo, what's the track? What's the track? Um, homie from, homie from Drumline did with Chingy. 
Oh, 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 oh come DT. roll with one me, call yeah. away, one call Ooh, away. I'm only one call away. That was hard. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> Should you be like, I like that? Good <laughs> <laughs> day. Damn, I can't. Y'all got, y'all got some great songs. Damn. You gonna pick a baby? I can. That's a hard song, song too. Yeah. I'll, I'll choose I, I, a song I know where. I'll, I'll, hold on, we're going home. I'll take that one. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> it's mad sweet. They go like, he just hold on. She gonna be like, that's my shit. But no, sorry. <laughs> it's enough for me, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been another episode of the Legendland Podcast, man. Make some fucking noise, y'all. <laughs> episode twenty-three, man. What's good? Yo, be sure to follow me at. Big Wavy underscore legend. B-I-G-W-A-V-E-Y underscore legend. Oh, Alexander in the building. King Alexander, the great one. Mo Black underscore. It's right here. It's 2021. 2021. You know Yo, be around. sure to follow the Legendland Podcast at the Legendland Podcast, man. Yes. Once again, thank y'all for subscribing to the YouTube. Y'all can subscribe right here, Getting man. Back to them comments. Link is in tonight. the fucking bio, man. Shout out to Golden State Warriors. Listen, man, leave them comments. <laughs> I'm talking about my team. My team is Golden State Warriors. I niggas is pussy. <laughs> so, yo, Leo, leave the com- <laughs> leave the comments. Leave the thumbs up. Even the thumbs down if you're not fucking with it. But if you're not, suck my dick. But um Thank y'all for all the love thus far, man. Legendland gamers, y'all niggas know the vibes. Get at us. Um, anything else? Shout out to Forever Young. Shout, Shout out to In Control. Young. Shout out In 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 In, in Control in is control. definitely in the building, Shout man. Shout out B Boy Rebels, man. South Bronx representing. Shout B-Boy out to Boy Rebels, man. I see you. B Boy Rebels, legendary kid break was good. Shout out to the Waffle Crew, man. Always. Shout get better. Always. You already know, man. The Anybody Hillers. else? The Hillers, Posh God, the fucking general was good. Yes, sir. Um, shout out my nigga Ric Flair, G Styles, um Prome Brethren. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like you are too. What am I forgetting? Doogie Oogie. No, he's no, Oh, no, shout out to like the executive shot. producer Doogie Oogie, man. But I'm forgetting so I for, damn. I feel like what the fuck? I said our page, YouTube page, Instagram. What? Links are in the bio. That's it, right? Yeah. Why you look shocked as shit? I I don't know, man. I'm 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 tripping right now. I'm a little tired. Who you is know this what I mean? Nigga? <laughs> Sick and stupid. <laughs> Yo, this has been another episode of the Legendland Podcast, man. Shout out to everybody. We love y'all, man. Thank y'all for even making y'all YouTube pages, like I said before, and subscribing. It's love. You feel what I'm saying? And like I always say, man, we learning and growing, man. Yes, sir. You feel me? So this Legendland podcast, we love y'all, baby. Bye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Legend shit, man. What's good? <laughs>